don't adjust your monitor and you don't have to colour grade in Filmora. I'm just wearing a different colour hat and t-shirt today. I normally wear dark blue but I thought I'd buy some new grey ones and they were cheaper. I'm John and this is Fun with Filmora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. One of my subscribers emailed me. Thanks for contacting me, Jim. And mentioned about a previous tutorial that I did regarding slideshows and instant mode in Filmora. And he brought up a great point. He mentioned that instant mode only allows you to create videos up to about three minutes or just over for export. He wanted to know, is there any way of creating a longer video, maybe up to 15 minutes using instant mode? Well, there is a roundabout way of doing that. So let's jump into Filmora and I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, what is instant mode? Instant mode allows you to create a professional looking video of either images, video or a mixture of both in minutes. It's templates that are already pre-made and you can change the text, the music and anything else in there and rearrange all the images. Let me show you how they work. You'll find instant mode on the startup screen of Filmora. It's there on the left, just simply click on that. It'll then bring up a number of different templates for you to choose. If you hover over each one, it'll give you a preview, a small preview. If you click on the play button, it'll give you a bigger preview. If you like that template, click on use this template. I'm not going to choose that one. I'm going to choose a holiday one. So I'll use the first one, travel. And again, I can do a preview or I can just simply click on there, ready to open it up. When it first opens, it'll ask you to import your media. Now don't forget, you can import up to 50 images, videos or a mixture of both. I'm just going to use images from my holiday for now. So I've got 50 images here. It doesn't have to be 50. It can be less, but it can't be more. So I'll choose those 50 images and click on open. Give it a second. Import them very quickly. Now from here, we can actually drag them into any order or any sequence we want. So for example, I might want that one as my first image. So I just clicked on it and dragged it. I like this boat here as my second image. So I'll click and drag that. And again, just do that for all of your images or your videos and it'll put them in sequence for you. Okay, once you've done that, you click on auto create on the bottom right and let it work as magic won't take that long it hasn't for my images let me just pause that for a second and um, didn't take that long at all and it's immediately created a fantastic slideshow for you let me just show you it how long would that take you to do and like I said, the templates are fantastic. You can actually change the templates here as well. If you don't like that template, you can go over here and choose another template. So for example, let's just choose that one and use that template. It'll change everything in there for you. It asks you to save the project if you want to. I won't save it for now. It's just changing all the background uh, music and text and transitions at the moment. So give it a minute or two. There you go. It's now changed to that one. Fantastic. There you go. And there's my images. How amazing is that? Okay, I'm actually going to go back and use the travel one again. So I'll just click on that and click on use this template. Don't want to save it at the moment. I suggest you do. So there we go. We're back to it. Now on each slide that you can see at the bottom, by the way, you can still change some round here as well you can still drag and drop at the bottom this week's pin number for the monthly giveaway is number two and it'll resequence it for you so when you drag and drop any of the images here it'll automatically put them in the right sequence for you as well the sequence that you want which is great also what you can do on each one of these is let's go to our first slide click on there just play it so we get the text up we can change all the text and you simply do that by double clicking on it This is a demo. You can change the text underneath. I'll just call it Holiday Picks. If I can spell it properly. 
<laughs> oh, me and my typing, I don't know. Let me try that again. I'm trying to type that fast, you're saying, look, like I'm really good at typing when I'm actually not. It's just, <laughs> it's just two fingers. <laughs> so holiday picks. And again, we can, while we're on the text, change all the properties. We can center it. We can change the color. We can make it bigger. We can make it bold. Um, sorry, I didn't center it then. I right aligned it. We can center it. We can right align it. Put it back to center. Change the size of it. So basically do everything that you can do within Filmora here. Go to our next slide. Just click play. Is that our next slide? Again, just go back a fraction there. Again, we can change all the text in here. I'm not going to do that for each one, but you get the idea. And again, you can change all the transitions and music, which I showed you in my previous video. And I'll put a link to that at the end of this tutorial. Now, what we want to do is we want to export that. So if we click on export, call it whatever you want. I'll just call it holiday picks. Choose where you want it exported to. Obviously make sure it's an MP4, which is a video and whatever quality recommended or higher. Recommended fine to be honest with you. And then export. Let that work its magic. Might take a few minutes. Right, well that took about three minutes to export that video on my machine. Might be quicker, might be slower for you depending on your computer. But now we have an exported video, what we want to do is create four more videos of three minutes long, giving us a total of a 15 minute video. I'm just going to create one more. I'm not going to create all five because it'll take too long. But what I'll do is I'll create another one. I won't save that. So we go back to instant mode. And the beauty about this is you don't have to choose the same template. So your 15 minute video could have five different three minute templates in, which you think will uh, break it up really nicely. Unless you want consistency, then use the same template throughout. I won't. I'm just going to have a look for a holiday template, which I've clicked on there. Um, it's not a road trip. So let's have a quick look down. What can I choose? Certainly not Christmas. Summer. That looks a nice one. So I'll choose that. Again, you would import your new set of clips. I'm just going to use the same ones just for speed and ease of use. But again, it can be images, videos, or a mixture of both. Don't forget, let them import. Again, don't forget to drag and drop your images or videos where you want them to be. I'll just change a few of these for a change. That's a nice one. Oh, I'd like that one to be first, etc., etc. Once you're happy with your layout, Click on auto create again. Give it a minute or two to auto create your new video. And there we have it. Crazy, but amazing. That took about a minute to import all of those 50 images, put them into the timeline. Put all the text, the transitions and the background music on. Amazing. So again, don't forget, go through each one and you can change the text if, if there is any text. This one doesn't have much text on it. Let me just try changing some of the text. I'll change that to beach holiday or something or the Maldives where it was. Okay. So like I said, you can change any of your text. I'll move that up. I'll change that text as well because that was hiding underneath. Okay, and I'll just drag this one back down. So there we have it, I've changed that. Again, you can change all the uh, different backgrounds and transitions and music. Again, that was in my previous video, which will be at the end of this tutorial. So you can watch that one if you haven't seen Instant Mode before. That gives you a full in-depth tutorial on how to use it. So if you haven't used it before, this is just a quick um, overview of how to use it and how to be able to extend longer than three minutes. But my previous tutorial, again, which is at the end, gives a full in-depth of all the features worth watching if you haven't seen before. Now you're happy with that, let's export it. Click on export. I'll call this Holiday Picks 2. I'll leave all the settings as they are. And export. It'll take a few minutes to do, so bear with me and I'll come back. 
So that took about two and a half minutes to export that one. You do that another three times, so in total you'd have five videos. I'm not going to do another three, but I'll now be able to show you what you can do in Filmora to make it a full 15 minute video. So let's close that. You can save it if you want, I don't need to. I'll just create a new project. And don't forget when you create a new project, always check your setting first. Go to File, Project Settings, and make sure that the settings that you want, mine are. I'll click OK. Now we're going to import our five videos that we've just created in instant mode. Go to Project, Import. I've done two, so let me just choose those two. Click Open. Obviously there'd be five there. So what you want to do is click the first one and drag it onto your timeline. Keep project settings. I'm just going to make the timeline a lot smaller as well so that I can fit them all on. And you can see that's actually exported as a five minute clip, not a three minute clip. So it may depend on the template. Some templates may only export as three minutes. Other templates may export up to five minutes, but each template will have up to 50 images in. Both of mine have got 50 images. The second clip that I exported, I'll drag down and put next to it. Now you can see the difference there. The first one is five minutes long, and the second one is only, well, just over, yeah, about three minutes really. So that's right. So not all templates are the same length. Now I'm gonna, you would drag your third one down. I'm gonna drag that one down, that one again, you get the idea up until you've got your required length and you've got your four five or however many videos you want in there done so i've now got four videos in there and it's over 15 minutes long hope it's made a good tutorial thanks for watching now go have some fun did you hear me mention this week's pin number you'll need that to enter the 50 pound giveaway at the end of the month